Welcome to Modern Sex, a show about what sex looks like today. And today, we're trying erotic photography. My name is Alan. My name is Julia. So we met two and a half years ago at a, what would you explain Burning Man as? Like a, a gathering like of 60,000 people. We ended up together in a camp. Julia was the first girl that I noticed at my camp. And uh, you know, as soon as I saw her, I fell in love with her. This is the main room of the white cube. The cube is just the space and the white is the light that we allow to come into the space. The white cube is a lived workspace. Like our philosophy is that it's just an unlimited space where you can come in and, and truly be who you are. This is a uh, mystic alley. This is where we do all of our esoteric card readings. Kind of reflect in during a party. Check this out, my friend made this. I actually yeah. took him up to the forest and he uh, hollowed it out and he tuned it and everything. And it, it probably is not gonna sound very good right now, but. It's supposed to go way lower. I'd say the best thing about our relationship is the ability just to be ourselves and really create and do ourselves and just help manifest each other's dreams. Yeah. We always joke though, it'd be kind of funny to create a coffee table book based on different cuddle positions. Like this. That's the R right there. It's like a spoon, but like in a, in a widened spoon. <laughs> Erotic photography. I guess that's the deal, right? Yeah. Erotic photography. So we're about to dive into some of this. I'm excited. I'm also nervous. I'm excited to see his ass naked on the camera. At first, I thought Storm was going to be like, like a balding Scandinavian guy. He yells at you and tells you what to do. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey, Hi. Come on in. Hi, I'm Storm. We're here in the Capture Boudoir Studios in downtown LA. I've been an erotic photographer for eight years now. We're going to be doing a lovely shoot with an amazing couple today. So right now, we're going to take some individual nude shots with Storm, and then we're going to show each other the results later. All right, let's get started with some consultations. Sounds okay. good. So I've never done this before. It's new territory. New territory is fun. Yeah. Are you excited? I am. A little bit fearful, not going to lie, but definitely excited. When Julie heard that we weren't going to do the photo shoot together, she got really nervous. I don't know about this. So like, I, I thought it was me with you. I don't know. I just, I don't know if I can do it. And he was trying to convince me, like, get over your fear. It's fine. Stop being a pussy. What does Elon love most about your body? I would say definitely he's a booty guy. So definitely would want to highlight the booty a little bit. And he loves the, the titties as he always is grabbing at them. So I definitely <laughs> playing with him. So definitely would want to highlight that, all the goodies. What does Julia love most about your body? Um, probably my cranium. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. My brain and my butt. So what are you looking to personally get out of the shoot? A chance for me to push the boundaries, you know, do something that I've never done before. Definitely kind of touching on who I am and my what Alon loves about me and definitely like the healing aspect. So I brought some crystals, I brought some head pieces, some fun costume pieces. Julia doesn't like how much I sleep, but I think for her, I think she really like a photo of me like wet, woken up, fresh face and like ready to take on the world. All right, so are you ready to do this? I am. All right, All right. let's do it. Let's get to it. Nice. <laughs> That's boss. Right. Let's do them without the beanie. Let's switch it up a bit. Turn towards me again. Yeah, kind of, kind of this little angle here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So what I'm doing is just sort of letting her do her thing and I feel like when she gets herself into her poses, I feel like I see, you know, when she gets it right and it's very natural and organic. Leg kind of, oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> I think it really got everything I was hoping for. I'm really excited to show Alon. I can't wait to see. I'm excited to talk about this afterwards with her. Okay, Julie, are you ready to see your photos? I am, I'm excited. All right. I want you to pick out the one that you really want to be what you give Julia. Okay. I got five. Ooh, Ooh that's pretty right. <laughs> that one's good. <laughs> I like that one. Nice, I love that shot. Oh, oh, you never saw that. Yeah, oh, no, that is me so excited, though. Oh. She tells me that she accidentally saw one of the photos on mistake, and she goes, I think I saw the photo that you chose. And I was like, no. And she goes, yeah, I had, like, fur and stuff. I'm like, nope, that's not it. And, like, come shut it down. I think in this one, though, this one or the, the, the side one, I love the side one, too. 
Okay, so we picked out we picked out our final photo. Pretty soon, you guys will reveal the photos to one another. I'm She's gonna love for, that. Yeah, I think she is too. Yeah. Get excited about your exchange. Yeah, can't wait, thank you. Yeah. So we were driving home from the photo shoot, hadn't seen each other's pictures yet, but it was so hard because we both wanted to talk about it so much, so we were both trying to like tiptoe around it, just giving each other little bites. And we were both really excited to go home and you know, see the kittens and rest and watch a movie and just like kick back because we had the whole place to ourselves, so. So yeah, we came home and we were both kind of sleepy from the day, just the photo shoot and everything, and we did some stuff early in the morning, so we were both kind of sleepy, so we put a movie on, hung out. And then she like starts massaging my back and we just like started cuddling in bed. The movie gets really heavy and my heart starts racing. And it was funny because I heard, thought I started hearing some sniffles, but I was like, I know I'm sniffling. But We look into each other's eyes and she's crying and I'm crying and then she starts laughing, so I start laughing. I was cracking up because we're in bed in this romantic situation. We just got done with this erotic photography shoot. You'd probably think, right, that we'd be like getting all sexy and stuff. And at the end, we're crying at a kid's movie. We both felt like I feel like another level of comfort with each other, even though we really are comfortable. The photos just got printed, and we're going to do the reveal. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that's me. That's crazy. I can't wait for Alon to see it. I hope he really loves the tribal, you know, warrior aspect of it. I think Julie's gonna love it and she's gonna do one of these and she's gonna be all stoked. She's gonna go, ah! She's gonna make a high pitched sound. I'm excited to show Julie this. I think she's really gonna like it. <laughs> Ready? Whoosh. <laughs> uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Called it. Called it. <laughs> The result of what he did is just so much better than what I could have thought. So I'm so happy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Wow. You got the jewelry and everything. Looking at Julia's photo, like, it was very, very her. I'm so glad that he caught, like, the essence of who she is. I'm glad he wasn't, like, spread eagle or anything. That's the thing, I was trying to find that balance between like, you know, like super sexy, but still like, you know. Well, seeing her photo, I learned about, you know, where something like that would take her artistic vision or like what, what she would put into something that she at first was initially scared of to do. She, she will still do her thing, you know, in, in spite of fear. For me, I learned that, like you said, that you're definitely empowering and definitely one of those things that I definitely want to have more fun with sex. I guess sex is definitely something that's just more exploratory. Getting over the fear is definitely worth it. Freeing the nipple and just doing yourself, it's definitely worth it to get past those barriers of yourself. I would totally recommend this to anyone, because especially just getting past that fear of being naked in front of other people, it was a great, really freeing thing to do. To any of our parents back in the day, this would have been like a really strange thing for any of their kids to do. But now it's like, we live in LA, you know, this is our life. So it just, it just taught me that, yeah, that we're forward thinking people that are open to ideas, you know. <laughs>